Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. While Volkswagen's transition to all electric is well underway, it's just that, a transition. That means there are still plenty of gasoline-powered vehicles in their mix, including this freshened up 2022 Tiguan, which is their best-selling model. Styling updates bring it more in line with the Ardeon and Big Brother Atlas, and include an optional light bar in the new grille. Our lines take it further with sportier elements to the fascia and side sills, as well as additional chrome and black accents. Full LEDs are now standard on all Tiguans. As with other Volkswagens, our line trim really enhances the look of the Tiguan. In fact, I'd say it's deceptively good looking because despite the sportier appearance, the R-Line offers no performance gains over the other trims, which is kind of a bummer. But I'd argue the looks are worth the extra money. Changes inside are mostly tech-related, with digital cockpit now standard and new touch controls on the steering wheel. But materials take a slightly upscale turn as well to make room for the entry-level Taos utility arriving soon. As before, we get the long wheelbase version only here in the States, which allows for a third row, provided you stick with front-wheel drive. 4Motion all-wheel drive is available with all trims, working with the current powertrain combo, a 184-horsepower turbo 4 and 8-speed automatic transmission. For those more concerned with interior comfort, heated seats now come standard on all models. As entertainment goes, a fine-sounding Fender speaker system, as well as a 15-color ambient light system, also comes standard. All of which is controlled by a smallish 8-inch touchscreen, while a 10.3-inch touchscreen is available on higher trims. Active safety systems are now grouped into an IQ Drive family, and available trims have been streamlined. We'll have pricing info closer to the 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan's arrival this fall, so stay tuned for more right here on MotorWeek. <laughs>